Well, in Adam, we're, we get death. In Adam, we're a sinner, and the wages of sin is death. But what it means to be in Christ is that on the cross, Jesus traded places with us. What it means to be in Christ is that Jesus became like he was in Adam. He took that death, he took the sin, he took the judgment, he took the wrath that we have earned and we deserve, and he took places with us, and he was crucified on the cross. So on the cross, Christ takes all of our condemnation on himself. Christ took all of our guilt on himself. Christ took all of our shame on himself. He took the wrath of God on himself that we have earned and that we deserve so that he could absorb it and he would die for it. And then three days later, he would arise as the conqueror over it saying, it's, it's done. I died for your sin. I was buried. Your sin was buried with me. And when I got up out of the grave, your sin did not. That's the difference of what it means to be in Adam or in Christ. More practically, to be in Christ means that for you and for me, it means, it means that we are dependent on and trusting in Jesus' work in our place. It doesn't mean that we have worked hard for Jesus, and it doesn't mean that we are following Jesus really, really well, and so, oh man, that person's in Christ now. They were in Adam, but they tried hard. Now they're in Christ. The truth is, to be in Adam and to be in Christ, the difference is what you're dependent on and what you're defined by. Those of us who are in Christ are dependent on Jesus' work for us and what Jesus is continuing to do. And we're also defined by what Jesus has done for us. We're not defined by our failures and by our shortcomings. You're not defined by your successes. You're not defined by your riches. You're not defined by your great standing in your job or in the city or in the nation or how well people talk about you. You're not defined by that. The only thing you've got on your own is in Adam. But by grace in Christ, we're defined by what Jesus has done for us. This is the good news of the gospel, Ecclesia. That our hope is built not on our performance in any way, good or bad. Our hope is built on nothing less but Jesus' blood and righteousness. That's the old song, and that's what it says, and that we sing that sometimes and don't realize what it's saying. Our hope is built on Jesus alone, on nothing less and nothing more than what Jesus has done and what Jesus is doing. 